<laughs> yeah, no, and and I agree. Like I said, you know, I th I think that is, uh, you know, uh, years ago I used to always say, you know, I I think you could see the weakening in the American, uh, you know, the whole American structure. I always figured that when America fell, it was going to go like kind of like the Roman Empire and that. Mm -hmm. But I always thought that. You know, part of the problem was it just seemed like every year we're trying to make it easier and easier for the lowest, you know, weakest link to keep up or to, or so that, the, you know, they can have something. And I'm like, I'm just not sure you keep a country strong that way. Well, you you know, you, you, you got to keep your standards up. And then, you know, most people, you know, because a lot of people, when you just keep lowering it, Mm -hmm. it, it does what you what you were saying. It does make people, I think, stupid and lazier because they have to put less effort in to keep up. Right. So it's like okay, and if they can't, if enough of them just want to be lazy, then we'll we'll lower those standards again. Sure. Where if you keep if you keep those standards up, you know, a lot of those people are going to get on the ball and start doing what they need to do to keep up. And then the I think there'll be you know there's always going to be the few that can't keep up. You know, you're disabled. Mm -hmm. You're, you know you know, ment actually mentally, you know, incapacitated or something. Right. But we, you know, those are the ones you want to take care of. Sure. Those are the ones that, you know, okay, you know, they they were born here. You know, we need to, we need to make sure they have at least the basics. You know, they ain't going to have the luxuries that the ones you can't keep up have, but we certainly could take care of them. Uh, but now, you know, we're just in such a, such a mess in so many ways and financially that, yeah, who knows what. Yeah. And, and, and I would argue that even on the grandest level with our gut, with our, the country itself, we lower the standards of the country itself. Now, you know, where before it was the people, you had, you had lower standard people within the country itself. You had a high standard of a country with low standard people. Now I would argue that we have a low standard country and I'll point to specific issues so that you don't think I'm just railing against the U S but I honestly think, you know, debt ceiling is one. I think every time we raise the the debt ceiling, we are lowering the standard of this country. There's a you know there's a certain standard of how much you should spend and not spend. And every time we say, well, we can just spend more without paying it back, we lower the standard of this country. Another and, and, one, and that is in large part because we can't get these, you know, these two sides to agree. True. They just they just sit there and strong arm each other, mm -hmm. and and. And it's ne and it's never for the 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 public's good. It's just like, you know, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I just that's just something the way you know the way it's been playing out this past you know s several months. I'm just like, God, you know, who knows if they'll ever corrected it? And mm -hmm. we're we're probably just going to keep going down this road until we go. I used to say, you know, earlier I said, well, I used to think we when America falls, it would be like a Roman Empire. Well, you know, now we're probably going to go like the Russians. We're just going to have a financial collapse. Right. I said it actually years and years ago. Then when the actual financial crisis happened, I was getting phone calls of people saying, oh, I remember you saying this like four years ago. Right. Like I was some sort of Nostradamus or something. And I was like, no, we were just, you know, Bush came in, gave all these tax breaks. Right. And most of it was to the super rich, regardless of what people and the people want examples of how it was a rich tax break. I'll give it to them. Sure. But. And then you're spending, so you're spending a ton of money, extra money on a war. Billions are going out, billions less coming in. Mm -hmm. Where did where did you think this was going to go? Right, of course. Like, that we're falling in debt, a trillion, an extra trillion dollars every year. Where did you think we were heading? Mm -hmm. We were heading for a financial disaster. Right. So when it finally happened, and everyone's acting like, oh, it's like no. It's like I just, I just, I can balance a checkbook. I can, you know, yeah, exactly. I can do simple mathematics. You know, we are going into debt. This, right. this continues. It's gonna be bad. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah, and then so that now that we're in the jam, you know, when somebody's, you know, when you once you're in a jam, it's like you got to do what you got to do to get out of it. You got to work your way out of it. But w these parties can't even agree. No, you they know, can't. and it's more, it's more, you know, they just want to act like, you know, like they're putting on, you know a display for the American public. Like they want to make it look like they're the ones being tough and right. And, mm -hmm. you know, and truth is we're probably never getting the actual truth uh, from either side. Yeah, probably not. And, and again, it goes back to the thing that the way they solve problems is to lower the standard on the, on, on themselves and on the people to, uh, to solve the problems. You know, debt ceiling is one. Another prime example, immigration. Dude, there was a time, and it's in our lifetime, so it's not like it was like I'm talking about the 30s and the 40s or whatever, but there was a time when there was an expectation to be a citizen of the United States. You had to know certain things. You had to speak the certain language. You had to... Right. 
You had to meet some obligations to be a citizen. Now there's none of it. Now, oh, you were born here. You were born here even though your parents snuck across the border. You're a citizen. You know, now you got the DREAM Act out there in Congress trying to just give blanket amnesty to anybody that broke the law to be here. That's lowering the standard of this country. That's the, yeah. No, that, I agree. I, well, I think the the if you were born here, I think that's been around for quite a long time. It but shouldn't you're be right. okay. Well, then change but, it to be what it should be. But you're be. right. It shouldn't. It became a very easy way for people to come across, have a kid there, and then I think they they almost use that like a foothold, an anchor, because mm-hmm. then when they would find out, like, oh, you guys are illegal. Well, my my children are citizens. They were born here. And then they, that became a way for them to stay. Sure. Oh, we're not going to send back. We can't send back the kids because they're U.S. citizens. But what are we going to do? Break up the family? You know, we're going to make the kids stay without and send their mom and dad back? Yes, so that's that what you do. Them. But you know what? That's what you do because you don't pander to the weak. You don't right. pander and, to the weak. And you and break I was, up the family. You break up enough of these you. families. I said, I go, you probably should send them back. But then just with the knowledge that – when the kill, children are old enough to, you know, live on their own and do what they want, they're allowed back simply because they were born here. But then, you know, but you're right. I, I you know, I, I think I hear what you're saying is why, you know, why do they get that citizenship because they're born here if the parents weren't actually citizens themselves? Yes. And, and you're right. I mean, I would agree. Like, I've always kind of wondered why that was, like, why simply just being born here, you know, why that gave you citizenship and a lot of countries have that you know where you could be an american over in australia you have a kid there and then the the kids got dual citizenship uh so yeah it's 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 interesting but i'm just making i'm just making the big i'm not necessarily trying to get an immigration discussion what i'm trying to say is that with every policy that we that we do not enforce we weaken the country and when, oh, exactly. And, exactly. And like I was, what always amazes me was how many people he, who even got their citizenship, who went through the naturalization process, and I'm like, well, they still can't speak English. I thought mm-hmm. that was like one of the, one of the you know things they had to do was you know get to a point where, if not fluent like a native-born American, mm-hmm. at least fluent to where they understood English. And then you would hear like this guy, you know, doesn't really understand it, and they're like, "Oh no, he's a he's a citizen. Yeah. He's got his green card. He went through the naturalization process." It's like, well, wait a minute. If he went through all that, why can't he speak English? Yeah, because he well, doesn't cause do apparently it, somewhere they lowered that standard. Right. Well, dude, <laughs> dude, what do you mean apparently somewhere? When's the last time you called a con- a company and you didn't get for Spanish press whatever? Yeah, that, that's a total yeah. lowering and- of the standard. We don't speak Spanish. We're not Spain. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and then every and then every time and then they you know what they've made two movements where they're trying to have across the country bilingual signs and stuff, and now you know if if you I'm sure you saw it in the news, largest uh, Hispanics are now the largest minority out there. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. so there's more there's more Hispanic after whites in America. There's more Hispanics than any other group. Yeah, are they so still? Like, are it, they it still? Won't, it won't be long before we see those that push for bilingual again. Yeah, are they still the largest though? If you throw the illegal piece, the illegals out. Uh, no, they said they. Well, no, actually, I think they said that's not counting the illegals. Oh, Jesus, that the actual the actual consensus of legal citizens. Uh, it's just basically that the birth rates are just kind of, you know, they're coming here and having a lot of kids and then, you know, and, and yeah, and maybe, and maybe counting those kids, maybe that's why, maybe it, maybe right. it started with the illegals who are having those kids and now we're counting those kids as being legal. Right. And yeah. Yeah. So who knows, but they are now the largest minority in America and, and, you know, and I, to be honest with you, uh, you know, living in Los Angeles for so long, it's like, I don't really have a problem with Hispanics in general mm-hmm. because I, I I will say like I, I was always amazed when some people act like oh they're just you know like these lazy people I'm like oh my god like some of these people bust their butts right for you know a relatively small wage and and they work very hard and yeah I mean there's gonna be lazy people of any mm-hmm. kind sure I don't care but regardless of you know whether it's Hispanics or any or where they come from it's like there just is right. no control as the you know guarding our borders. No. And I always said, you know, we've we've let it go as a country. We've let it go for so long that it's almost is it fair? Is it fair that if you let somebody basically sit here and now let's say their kids that were their their parents are illegal and the kids are you know twenty something years old, 
and you've let them live here for 20 years in this country, to then to suddenly say, okay, now you got to go because now we're cracking down. Well, we yeah. weren't enforcing. We weren't enforcing it as a country. So, but now we are, and now you got to go. And, and I'm not advocating that either because it's it's not fair to it's not fair or right. Forget fair, but it's not right to destroy the lives of 12 million people. You know that 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 part I agree with you, but. You need to I have an idea on that. You well, hold on. You have to pass a law, and going forward, stick to the law. You know. Yeah. That's what you yeah. have to do. Oh, you're, that 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 would be that would definitely be the first step. You have to you know pass law. You have to break you and you have to then immediately you know man up. You know, guarding those borders or right. people coming through. And mm -hmm. but then I thought, and then what about you know? You simply just say you know. For everyone that's basically here illegally, you have to register, and and basically, you know, you have to register. You have to let us know how long you've been here. You have to do all this, and if you don't, if it's not done by a certain date, then we don't care what your situation is, because now you were not, you know, you were given the opportunity to register. You were given the opportunity to to get on record that you're here, that you know, you want to become a citizen, and then that they could do the background checks to see, you know. Who shouldn't mm -hmm. be here? You know sure. who who's here that you know who's just an honest you know a relatively, with exception of breaking the law, coming here, <laughs> right. but who was just somebody looking for a better way of life and is and has been a good citizen since they've been here versus you know maybe a criminal that was sent here by even another government right uh, the, as their way of getting rid of somebody or who's just crossing the borders for you know drug business or whatever else that, you know they're doing, but who. Who should be here? And then I actually had a thing where, you know, everybody's saying how they'd like to have a, you know, a, have you ever heard the idea of building a giant wall along the the U.S.-Mexican border? Yeah, sure. Yeah, well, it would certainly create jobs if they did it, but, yeah. <laughs> but what about the idea of, like, if you take all these illegal citizens and you say, okay, you know, as part of you earning your citizenship, you guys are the ones that are going to put in the labor to build that. And we're gonna, we'll pay you a living wage, not a phenomenal wage, a living wage. And you want to become a citizen, you're gonna to have to earn it. Sure. Well, dude, I have no problem with look. I have no problem with people coming to the country. I mean, that's how the country was built, and, and that's fine, you know. But but there's a process, right? But yeah, I mean, dude, for I'll go to I'll go to the absurd to make a point. You've seen the movie The Godfather or Godfather Two, right? Sure. You 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 know the scene where uh, Vito Corleone is coming to coming to America and they they run them through a whole laundry list of uh you know people and testing and medical screen and all that before they before they let them into the country right what happened to that that's not do we not do that anymore i mean there was a process I, there's no longer a process well I th and there's well i think there is because i know somebody who went through the naturalization process i think there is there is a process whether every step is uh and what steps are there? I, I don't know. I haven't, you know, personally, you know, looked into it or gone through it. Right. But I think there is a process. I just think the thing is that so many people are, you know, come here and like, why go through the process? You know, why? Why you could go to America and just stay there, you know, without going through the process, and nobody really cares. Uh, so why would you want to go through the process and even risk not being, you know, getting deported back out? Right. Well, I, but I mean, it, and it goes back to the point about lowering the standard, dude. Look at think think about this for a second. Think seriously. Think about this. What what benefit do you you or me as American citizens have as being an American citizen versus if we were to go to our consulate right now and say, you know what, I renounce my citizenship to the United States. I don't want to be a citizen of the United States anymore, but stay here. I'm going to stay here, but I'm not going to be a legal citizen. The benefit is to be in the illegal citizen. Yeah, you you get free health care. You get free health care. <laughs> you can drive. You you don't have to, you know, the, the police basically don't do anything with illegals. They don't arrest them. They don't. They don't. You know, they're they're clearly bre breaking the law, and they don't get. They don't have to deal with legal ramifications of that. What's yeah, the benefit and that, of and being? And that, that has always amazed me. That has always amazed me. That you know, it's like when they when they when a police officer stops these people, like why isn't it? They find out they're illegal. They're not a citizen. Why isn't this immediately escalating to the next level? Yeah. You know, why isn't this immediately going to immigration? Why aren't they? Why hasn't that? 
you know, stopping them for a traffic uh, 